And welcome back to the show. The landscape of today's music industry has largely centered on the decline of the prestige and dominance of what we call powerhouse labels. Now, with the trend of smaller labels rising to prominence in today's music scene, without the help of major labels, our next guest envisioned a label where all artists are able to show their creativity to the world. We're pleased to have with us the founder of Lock It Down Records, Lester Lockett, and then artist and founder of Lock It Down Records, Couture. And we thank you both for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And uh, Lester, I'll start with you. I mean, obviously, to start your own record label, that is uh, an accomplishment all by itself. But uh, when you look at where you are today, talk to us about what got you started and wanted to do this. Well, I've always had the love for uh, for music. But uh, actually, it was Couture and Matt. You know, we linked up one time and then, you know, it was because of another artist that I was dealing with. And then I linked up with Couture, Matt. And uh, once I started making music with him, we, you know, I just put the passion in it even more. And, you know, and I seen the dedication that he had in it too. So, you know, we just linked up, like it was really not, you know, it was just easy, natural. And we just came together and said, hey, you, you want to make a label together? Why not, you know? So we decided to do this ourselves. So you guys are working together. Couture, talk to me a little bit about this. I mean, you guys have the opportunity to work together, put together this work record label. Uh, what's it been like? What's the experience been like for you? Um, it's been personal. It's been a family thing. As you can hear, he's calling me Matt. Uh, that's my name. And it's because, you know, I'm more than Couture to him. Like, I'm, I'm family. And that's what I think the best part of the label is about. Uh, we work together so well because we understand each other. and We know where we want to go. Uh, how we want to promote the music, uh, the direction that we want to take it in. And that's really been the most enjoyable part to me, having someone else who sees the same vision. Yeah. And so uh, talk to me about hip hop and the love for hip hop. Uh, both of you have that. So uh, give me a little bit about that. My love for hip hop goes back to Sugar Hill Gang. <laughs> you know, my, you know, I, I love all hip hop. Uh, don't miss you know don't don't get wrong like but you know my roots start from sugar hill and i to me the greatest rapper is rock kim i think he changed the game but you know with all these new rappers that came in i still respect you know i still respect these new rappers and still love rap today as much as i loved it you know years ago you know what i mean so that's I just have the love for music. I just love music. I've always loved music and I've always wanted to be a part of music. But if you don't, if you're not with the right people, if you're not doing it with the right people, it just doesn't feel good. You know, because we are dealing with other people doing this, but we backed up from it because they didn't seem to have the same love for the rap that we have. You know, not just rap, but music, period. I don't right. just, love, you know, I love music in general. Like you can play country music. And if I listen to, <laughs> I like it. You know, it's, if it's a good song, it's a good song. It doesn't necessarily have to be just rap, you know? And that's what our label is, actually. We don't just focus on rap. Like, if you listen to Couture, Couture raps. He raps very well, but he does, he's R&B, too. So then we have rappers, we have, you know, other artists that we deal with, you know, that they rap. But that's cool, though. You know, that's the lane that they want to stay in. That's cool. But if, if, if we did like you and if you wanted to, join our family and be a part of our label and you did rock and we actually like that music well then it is what it is right so we, we talk about when we hear uh labels and we hear artists we hear this word sound having a certain sound um when we talk about your label and we talk about the artists that you're looking to attract um what makes your sound different and what's the kind of sound that you're looking for to bring to the label Oh, our sound, I would say, is different is because, like I just said, we're open. You know? You don't have to have a particular sound. You, you don't have to sound like this person or that person. You sound like yourself. And if it's attracted to us, then, you know, we'll work with you, you know? Same thing. My music heart is very open. And I also engineer for the label. So if you look at my top songs playlist, I like anything under the sun you know, from this generation to generations past. So I can just take that perspective and apply it to whatever someone wants to bring to the table if they want to be a part of the family. And it just makes it easy to get along with people because I appreciate 
music in general, not just, you know, hip hop, R and B, pop, country, everything. I used to listen to, you know, heavy metal when I was a little kid. And that was just one of my things and now it's just a part of me. Yeah. You you spoke earlier about the label and sometimes when you start you have goals and obviously people don't always come alongside the vision and the mission of the label. But if you had to describe your vis- your vision and your goals, um how would you how would you define those? I would say our vision and goals we want to make the best possible music with the best people. I think that um a lot right. of times uh, a label will look for, you know, an artist who has like a, a big buzz already or something, or there's there's some character or quality to them that makes them more interesting than who they are as humans. And that's a really big part of this label to us is that we want to know about your character and, and your soul first before we really invest with you because that's, you know, at the end of the day, like we leave the studio and we go home to our respective families and in our situations and we come together from that. So if we don't have the same mindset, then we're not gonna succeed together because we're going different directions. So if there's an artist out there and somebody, you know, there's always somebody saying, listen, you know what I'm looking for, I'm looking to try to get connected to a label. There's always somebody trying to get uh, heard, seen, all of the above. Uh, how do they go about doing that if they, uh, if they wanna get connected with you? Uh, well, you can go to Instagram, uh, Lock It Down, that's where Lock It Down Records. Um, that's one place you can find us. Um, that has a couple of contacts. Uh, you can contact me. Um, so the one on Instagram everywhere. Uh, I don't know if we're doing socials right now, but uh, basically you can just reach out to either of us on the label page and uh, you can get through and talk with us and we can work with you. So when we talk about what's coming up, can you give us a little preview as to what might be coming up in the near future? I'm working on a few singles right now. Uh, with actually my friends over in the other room, uh, DJ Macrohard and Frank James, what's one. Uh, they've been producing for me for years now, and uh, we make some great stuff together. Uh, we put out a song called Duplex a few months ago, and we have a lot of singles coming up. Um, so right now I'm just getting ready for the fall season and making sure I got you know everything in check, and getting social media right. Um, and I did a couple interviews lately, obviously doing this one today. So just uh, keep an eye open and there'll be a lot more to us coming. Anything else you wanted to share with us before we wrap up in terms of what to look out for? We also have Scotto. Uh, you, can, you can find Scotto on the I am Scotto on Instagram. And we also have Breeze the God. And he's Breeze the God underscore on uh, Instagram. So, you know, look out for them too. They're really, really dope artists. Like they're not just is you know they're actually writers instead of just like you know rappers you know so they're true artists so you know you know look out for them too yeah. all right well gentlemen i want to thank you for sharing with us today and certainly it's been great having you uh best wishes with the label and hopefully we'll get you back in the future as things continue to develop thank you very much thanks for having us man all righty well i want to let you know if you want more information follow them on social media as we said before at Couture, the one, and then also lock it down. 